Want to speak real Danish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at danishclass101.com. You've decided to study a new language. So now what? Well, you want to become fluent fast, right? Here are the top five shortcuts to learning a language. Number one, create a study schedule and set some goals. Many language learners are unorganized. Creating a schedule allows you to free up time to study consistently. Goals give you motivation and something to strive for. Number two, make it fun. If you learn how to make your study time enjoyable, chances are you'll be more inclined to study. Watch a TV show with subtitles or listen to some music. Number three, find a language partner. This is the best way to improve your conversation skills. It will help you gain fluency even faster and increase confidence when speaking. Number four, use word lists to build up a solid vocabulary. This is a great way to build up your fluency, one word at a time. Luckily, we have all the word lists you need with a range of topics from food to love. Choose whichever language you want to study and go. Number five, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Nothing helps you improve more than correcting your own errors. You're more likely to remember it correctly the next time around. Everyone makes mistakes. Don't be afraid to learn from them. There's no magical way to learn a new language overnight, but doing all of these can really help your learning process. And remember, if you're interested in getting on the fast track to fluency, sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. Start learning now. You just got a text message from your hotel's pickup service. What does the first number refer to? What does the first number refer to? The number in the text message refers to the customer code. Kunde cool. Learning a language requires a huge investment of time and often money as well. Many people are hesitant to put in the amount of effort required to become fluent. But learning a new language can be one of life's most rewarding experiences. Here are five reasons to learn a language. Number one, more opportunities. A new language can open up many new doors. You're able to work in countries other than your own. Tons of employers look to hire multilingual professionals every year. Number two, meeting new people. Get to know speakers of other languages on a more personal level. Meeting new people is one of the main reasons people begin to study a language. Making new friends is a good enough reason to start studying. Number three, exploring a different culture. Whether you decide to live abroad or you're just taking a vacation, knowing the local language will allow you to better understand the people. This can open your eyes to not only their country, but your country as well. Learn how people view your home from their perspective. Number four, health benefits. Studying a new language actually comes with health benefits. Keep your brain sharp by studying every day. You'll be helping your mind fight off old age and stay fresh. Number five, discover you can do it. We've heard every excuse that people give for failing to learn a new language. Too old, not enough time, wrong genes. But you shouldn't let your excuses hold you back. You really can learn another language. You could even hold your first conversation just a few days from now. Don't make any more excuses. 
Just click to start speaking the language you've always wanted to learn. Sign up for your free lifetime account. No credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. Stop hesitating and start learning a new language now. You're checking out the hotel's facilities when you see a notice on a door. What does the notice mean? What does the notice mean? The notice reads, do not enter. Ingen Want to speak real Danish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at danishclass101.com. You are aboard an express train where you're about to arrive at your next destination. Suddenly, the train slows and comes to an unexpected stop clearly short of the station. There are no instructions from the conductor. Concerned, you pick up and read the emergency instructions pamphlet aboard the train. According to the pamphlet, what should you do in this situation? According to the pamphlet, what should you do in this situation? The pamphlet says that you should not attempt to exit the train because the train tracks are electrified. Instead, you should stay seated and wait for help to arrive. Blive siddende og vente på hjælpen ankommer. You are at a train station platform where you are waiting for your train. There's a small pamphlet sitting on a display case about a new train that will be introduced next year. You decide to pick up and read the pamphlet. What is the main feature and the biggest advantage of the new train? What is the main feature and the biggest advantage of the new train? The main feature of the train is that it is propelled by magnetism. The biggest advantage is that it can reach twice the speeds of any train that runs on tracks. Drevet magnetisme, det kan nå dobbelt hastighed af et hvert tog, der kører på skinner. You just got off the train at the closest station to your friend's new house, where he's invited you to a party. 
Which exit should you use to get to your friend's new house? Which exit should you use to get to your friend's new house? Although the east exit would have normally been the closest exit, it's currently under construction, so you should take the south exit instead. Take Udgang Sud. To master a new language and understand everything as soon as you hear it, to read with just a quick glance and speak smoothly without thinking, you need to review. Here are our top five review tactics. Number one, listen to examples over and over again. By listening closely and often, you start to pick up the rhythm of a language, as well as correct pronunciation from a native speaker. Use our line-by-line -line feature that lets you both listen and read along. Use this tool to practice as much as possible. Number two, use our voice recording tool to master perfect pronunciation. Record yourself and compare it against the native speaker. If you sound different, then repeat after the native speaker until you're able to match them. Use our voice recording feature, which makes recording super easy. Number three, master your recorded conversations. Record conversations and go over them again and again. Master entire conversations and repeat them line by line. Use any of the dialogues available for download on our website. These come with transcripts of the entire conversation. Number four, use mobile devices to reinforce previously learned conversations. Constant review is the best way to progress in your language studies. Download the recorded dialogue to your mobile device and incorporate it into your music playlist. Quick reviews throughout the day effectively reinforce what you've learned. Number five, read with line-by-line -line notes. Read along with a native speaker to really master pronunciation and natural intonation. You should start slow at first, then slowly increase your speed. Your pronunciation will become more natural. You will also see that your ability to understand fluent speakers will greatly increase. You'll be able to improve your communication skills using these five simple review techniques. Increase your understanding of your target language. And remember, if you're interested in getting all these review tools, sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. And start reviewing more every day. You are at a train station where you're heading to the lost and found office to retrieve a lost passport. According to an email you received from the train company, what things do you need to provide to the staff? What things do you need to provide to the staff?
The email says that you need to present proof of identification and to pay a small fee. Legitimation, betale et lille gebyr. You are exiting a train station when a big notice posted on the bulletin board catches your attention. The notice highlights permanent changes made to the train schedule. How will trains on Fridays be affected? How will trains on Fridays be affected? Trains on Fridays will now start at 6 a.m. and will end at 1 a.m. Starter med at køre klokken 6.00 og stopper klokken 1.00. Today we're going to talk about four techniques to help you stop translating in your head and instead start thinking in your target language. This will allow you to have conversations with ease, read smoothly, and better understand native speakers. These are four methods to help you think in a new language. Number one, surround yourself with your target language. This way, you'll be completely immersed in the language. Without realizing it, you'll learn pronunciation, sentence structures, grammar, and new vocabulary. Play music in the background while you're cooking, or have a radio station on while you study. Just use one of our endless podcasts available to you. These are easy to listen to in the background while doing other things. Number two, learn through observation. This is how we all learned our native languages as kids words will develop their own meanings that relate better to your target language, rather than meanings that are translated directly. Number three, speak out loud to yourself. Even if you're a little embarrassed, it forces you to listen to how you speak. It makes it much easier to spot simple grammar mistakes. Number four, practice daily. If you practice everything for only one day, you won't retain the information you learned. The brain can realistically only focus for about 30 minutes. So studying a little every day allows you to absorb better. Follow these steps and have patience. You'll soon be able to achieve your language learning goals. Just make sure to remember these four methods. Sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. And start learning more every day. Hey everyone, welcome to your monthly review. The monthly show on language learning, where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, new study tools, resources, and where we show off learners like you speaking the language. That is, if you're brave enough to participate and become language learning famous. All the materials mentioned in this video are available for you right now on our website. Click the link in the description to sign up for your free lifetime account and start speaking in minutes. Okay, today's topic is why your worst days are the best days to study. So, have you ever had a day where you planned on learning language and you just couldn't go through with it? Even if learning a new language is your personal goal, something that you really want? Well, today you're going to learn, one, why these bad days happen, and two, why you'll get your best work done on your worst days. Let's start. Why bad days happen with language learning. When I say bad days, I don't mean when you're too busy or when life gets in the way. These things are unavoidable. I mean days when you're just not in the mood. It's a perfectly good day. The sun is shining, no bad news, but you just can't get yourself to study. You're just wasting the day. 
So here's why they happen. First, it's the law of diminishing returns in action. What does this mean? Think of it as eating pizza every day for five days a week. On the first day, the first two slices are great, but by the third one, you're feeling queasy. It's not as good. And by the fifth day, you're sick of pizza. That's the law of diminishing returns, when the benefits start decreasing over time. And it happens with language learning. When you first start, you learn a lot of phrases and it feels good. You're excited. But as time goes on, you don't feel like you're learning much. And this affects your mood and motivation. So you're not as excited to learn anymore. So you start having bad days. Second, bad days happen because you overthink things and ruin it for yourself. It's like dreading going to the gym. Let's say you went yesterday. You have to go again today. So you're dreading it all day long. Ah, I gotta go again. You set yourself up for a bad mood and a bad day. Third, bad days are a natural part of the cycle. Some days will be good. Most days you'll feel indifferent. Some days will be bad, but that's completely natural and anyone with long-term projects and goals feels the same. And fourth, you can't be on 100% of the time. So just like days can't always be good, you too can't always be on and ready to go all the time. Again, just a realistic and expected part of the journey. Now, let's jump into the second part, why you'll get your best work done on your worst days. So, why will you get your best work done? First, it's not that bad once you start. Once you've spent 10 or 15 minutes learning a language, it's not so bad. People say the same thing about the gym. If you show up and put in a bit of time, it gets easier. Second, it's overcoming a mental barrier. What I mean is, when most of us have bad days, our brain automatically says, okay, can't be done today, stop, we're done. But if you just work through it, you don't take these bad days so seriously anymore. And that means you're more likely to stick with your language learning goal. This brings us to the next point. Third, it's your best work because working on a bad day only strengthens your habit of language learning. Remember, habits are what will help you master a language over time. If you can stick to a habit on a bad day, your habit only gets stronger and it will lead you to fluency. And finally, fourth, it just feels good to overcome something. Imagine you have a bad day, but you still put in 10 minutes of language learning. It's a real sense of achievement. And it doesn't matter if you do a 10 minute lesson or a five minute lesson. The fact that you made some progress on a bad day will give you the motivation you need to keep going. Now, speaking of lessons, Here are this month's new lessons and resources. First, the best of 2018 language learning cheat sheets. If you want to get access to all of our conversation cheat sheets that we sent out this year, here's your chance. Download this PDF bundle right now. Next, the brand new supermarket cheat sheet. With this cheat sheet, you'll learn must know shopping phrases and vocab for meats, vegetables, and all products that you'll find in a supermarket. And finally, the most common adjectives. If you're a beginner and don't yet know these adjectives, then this is a perfect chance to boost your vocabulary. This one minute lesson will get them stuck in your head, guaranteed. To get these free lessons and resources, just click the link in the description below. All right, everyone. Now we're asking you to submit a video or audio file of yourself speaking the language. If you do, you'll win three free months of access to our learning program, which includes your very own teacher. Here's the challenge for you. Yes, everyone watching this. Record a 30 second to one minute video or audio clip. Introduce yourself in the language. Share your name, where you're from, and why you're studying this language. And you'll win a three month Premium Plus subscription. To submit, click on the link in the description. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Then fill out the form attach the audio or video file, and press submit. We may feature you in next month's episode, so a lot of learners will see you and your progress, and will hopefully get inspired to improve and master the language. To submit a recording, click the link in the description and follow the instructions on the page. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to set achievable language learning goals and resolutions. In the meantime, submit your recording, if you're brave. Like and share this video, and leave a comment to tell us what language learning tactics you'd like us to talk about. See you next time. Bye!